Hey everyone out there in listener land, this here is Melissa Bryan, the one only and original Outlaw Psychic from Umpqua Valley Psychic and Media, the Outlaw Psychic LLC in Roseburg, Oregon. How y'all doing today? I hope y'all are good. Time now is 12.55 p.m. Everyone is out of the house. I'm alone. The place is silent and I'm happy, happy, happy. Yay. A little bit of time to kind of breathe and think and be able to feel again, finally. Yay. Today is my 44th birthday. I don't really acknowledge it because I don't really like birthdays, anniversaries, holidays, that kind of thing. I kind of try to ignore them if I can. They're not really significant in my world because, well, there's a lot behind the scenes that I don't generally talk about. Um, let's just say vulnerability is not quite my thing. But anyway, I'm having a quiet, relaxing day, and uh, I'm just kind of taking care of me today, just sort of here, you know? I've done all my blogs, I've done all my social media stuff for the day, I've kind of just sort of took care of me today. Good day for it too, it's too hot to do anything else, it really is. And the winds won't come up till later this afternoon evening uh, when it kind of cools down a little bit. It is going to be in the upper 90s here today. Yeah, like I think either 91 or 97, I'm not real sure. But anyway, it's going to be really, really, really stupid hot today. And I like heat, but I like dry heat. Like... Arizona dry heat. That's the way I like my heat. I don't like super humid sunny days. If it's super humid, it is sweltering here. It's horrible. Ugh, we sweltered through one of those days already and it was just miserable. But we got me a cake, we got ice cream, we have soda, awesome. Um, I've decided I'm just going to order a pizza. I don't want to cook, I don't want to clean, I don't want to do anything today. I just kind of want to push all that stuff back to tomorrow. You know, it can be dealt with then. It's not a big deal. I want to be able to take a shower today. I want to be able to just kind of end my day on a slow note. So far, so good. It's working out well. You know, I'm just kind of sort of here. Not doing a lot today. Hoping things don't go off the rails too much hope not but hey our library reopens on June 30th I can't wait yay I have to get my phone updated again I have to get all my pictures uploaded I have to get everything kind of resettled on my iPhone so that everything goes according to my plans um, I'll have to go there probably about once a month in order to just get all this stuff kind of upgraded uploaded updated and whatnot What a day it's going to be, I'll tell you. We need to get the blinds fixed in this trailer. Uh, we need to um, get the filters changed out on the AC system. Uh, and generally, just clean this place up. It needs a really, really good cleaning. But other than that, beyond that, we're really actually sitting pretty right now. I'm hoping to have everything done probably by July 4 and no later because I want to be able to take that day to just kind of chill out and not really do anything. Again, I want to take July 4 to just kind of be a quiet day at home with my family. That's what I really like is, you know, just those days where we can just kind of be quiet, watch TV or movies or whatever. That's one thing I want to do tonight is I want to watch a movie. Um, 
You know, I haven't seen Rio Bravo in a while, which is one of my absolute favorite John Wayne movies. Oh, and if anyone gets a tip on uh, two very special John Wayne movies, they're my absolute favorites. Um, one of them is She Wore a Yellow Ribbon. It's from, I believe, either the 1930s or 1940s and was filmed in Chatsworth, California, where I actually spent my teen years. I actually lived uh, just beyond the old movie ranches, uh, the hills that overlooked my former home as a teenager, basically was the parade grounds for the old fort for she wore a yellow ribbon. And that was filmed at that location. Which is actually really kind of cool because most of my childhood, I grew up around the old movie ranches, around the old cowboys, around the old you know western stuff and where things had happened historically in that area of california i actually grew up around that stuff and i actually really totally appreciate it and that's part of what is going to go into my filming by the way i ordered all of my camera equipment so i got new cords for my uh current camera I got a new windscreen for it. I ordered two more boom mics and two more cameras along with windscreens. I ordered new cords. I got everything put together. So now I'll be able to, along with my still camera and my voice recorder, as well as my pendulum, yeah, I will be able to go out here onto the grounds as a start and film what I've experienced here true thing i have experienced some stuff out here on the grounds i've seen full body apparitions i've seen shadow figures i've seen um orbs i've been called to sorry i apologize that is my uh antivirus notification i don't know how to shut this shit off but oh well anyway um so Basically, I have been called to by native spirits over in one part of the park. I have seen orbs. I have um, heard footsteps. We have had our cabinets messed with. We have uh, heard disembodied voices, or at least I have. Um, I've heard children, uh, you know, crying and children begging for their moms and... So I believe, honestly, that this place, this fairgrounds, was built over the original town cemetery. They moved that down the road toward Garden Valley Boulevard, which is about five miles from here, as the crow flies. And then, um, well, actually, no, about ten miles. I'm sorry, about ten miles. And then... Um, I believe that some of the bodies never actually consistently got moved from their resting places. So, a lot of this place is dead bodies. Okay? <laughs> dead bodies. Yeah, we're like living on top of graves. Yeah, ugh, not comfy. Um, okay, so then we also have the perfect storm of uh, EMF overload okay i mean aside from just all the cords and electrical devices here in the home to make things comfortable and easy to live with there is also in the park you know the old power boxes and uh you know water lines and all that for the rvs and electrical old electrical old pipes old wiring old buildings old you know, bleachers and old, um, uh, old power, uh, poles and old, uh, you know, lighting and God, I, you know, it just runs the gamut. There's so much old stuff around here. It literally like makes it the perfect EMF storm. Okay along with the perfect spirit storm because of the native heritage and the uh, cemetery that used to be here, or so I believe. Um, 
and then there's the river that runs adjacent to the park okay that has a quartz and limestone bed combined with the flowing water that's going to give you a perfect emf storm along with all this other you know old piping wiring lighting poles power boxes water lines uh you know all this stuff that is old 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 combined with the spirit hello you have the perfect storm mix of hunting and they have over here on Ford Arena, on the back side of it, a picture that looks like a little girl that has no arms, no legs, and no feet. You tell me, we will both know. Mm-hmm. And then... The staff has confirmed to me personally, they said off the record, but I say, well, even off the record, fair game. This place is haunted. They have had their own experiences with this place, and I've invited many teams out to come take a look at it. Believe me, this is one of the most haunted RV parks I have ever been in ever um of course I've never been in a haunted RV park I've lived in numerous haunted houses all of it documented in my book born into shamanism Kindle Amazon award winner go check it out um you know I've had so many experiences here most of them have been pleasant and you know, we've never been injured by these entities or whatever it's supposed to be. We've had electrical disturbances here at the trailer. We've um, been touched. We've been spoken to. Had our names called. Um, you know, or what we call a mimic. Uh, we have... Oh my God, what else have we had happen? Um, yeah, I guess that's about it. But these spirits are mainly friendly, you know, there's nothing really threatening about them. But I want to document on camera what I have actually witnessed and experienced. I want to be able to film it all, I want to be able to show it all, you know. Over down by the Oregon Vortex... And I experienced this last night, too, going from California back into Oregon, that it feels like, descriptively, that even though you're going forward, it feels like you're going backward. It is a very strange, odd sensation. You go right through a vortex of energy. It's like a swirling energy vortex. I can close these. That's not an issue. I've been doing this a long time, so, you know, and I have just today started my 41st year as a professional psychic medium. I've been doing this since I was three years old, although non-professionally at that point. Um, Professionally, I have been doing this now almost four years. It'll be four years, I believe, next year. And, you know, I'm going to be moving back to Cali, I think, late this year because my husband will be losing his job. Um, they want to make him move parks every six months. No, um, we're not doing that anymore. Uh, we're tired of moving around like that. That's just not in the cards for us, no. So, he will be giving up this job in order to be able to move to a permanent place. We are currently looking for property there. We have a couple of things 
potentially in mind. I'm not going to say we have found something. I'm not going to say we have not found something. But the possibility of finding something is indeed there. So that allows us to work on State of Jefferson, which we are both very big proponents of. Uh, Oregon, unfortunately, is not going to get their act together. They may be annexed at a later time. But it looks like the process is coming incredibly close to doing State of Jefferson. See, I come a very heavy, deep Southern secessionist. My family was very much for pulling away from the United States, which at that point was very tyrannical, very too big for your britches, guys. Yeah, sorry the way it is. Um, very much similar to today. But this is a much, much different situation. Uh, in this day and age, the inmates are running the asylum, essentially. Not cool. So we're going to be going to where we think we have the biggest and best chance for liberty. Even though that part of California remains closed down... Gavin Newsome, or I call him Gavin Gruesome, because he's so butt-ass ugly. Sorry, just the way it is. Uh, tell it straight truth. Um, well, he's keeping that part of California locked down as well. It is almost to the point of where there is no availability to food. So what we would have to do, we would have to either grow our own garden and our own cattle, chicken, horses, hogs, sheep, goats, that kind of thing. We would have to do that, like it or not. And we would have to essentially buy only staples at a grocery store, which means flour, sugar, egg, uh, baking soda, not eggs, but, uh, you know, because we're growing our own. But flour, sugar, baking soda, baking powder, uh, cornmeal, um, you know, that kind of thing. Because at that point, I'll be making my own bread, my own tortillas, my own syrup, my own, you know, everything. I will be going mainly back to my housework, but I am going to keep my spirit business alive. Things are starting to roll. I'm starting to get clients, finally. Okay, I have one potentially tomorrow. I have to call her back. And then I have another one, well, another two of them, I believe July 10. But that means 300 more in my pocket if I can just get two more clients at 100 bucks each. I'm good to go to get my book redone via my publisher, uh, which means that everything will go forward and we will be on a roll, finally. So that's a good thing. I'm hoping to get that going in the next couple months. Let's make sure it happens, huh? I need just two more clients, guys. Two more. That's it, okay? To get my book going. And then from there, I have found out through just, you know, general mathematics. Let me see here. Maybe not there, but anyway. Um, two clients per day, six days out of the week, spread out, you know, among the days. All right. 1200 bucks in a week. I don't work Sundays. That is my day off. That is my day to take care of me. To just relax, decompress, not have anything to do on that day. You know, except doing maybe my uh, blogs and my podcast and just kind of updating things a little bit. Um, and then, let me see if I can find the post I made on that. Okay, yeah. Twelve hundred a week times four weeks is forty-eight hundred dollars a month. 
I only use 3000 a month for all bills, that means business and personal, as well as groceries and laundry, which, if we get a brand new trailer, the one we're hoping for has a washer-dryer unit hookup. So that means we get to have a washer and dryer in unit. No more laundry expense. Yay. Um, so that being said, I only use about 3000 a month every month respectively and then the other 1800 which I consider gravy but really that is my business expense fund that is what goes right back into my business so I essentially I don't earn anything I don't make a penny not one okay everything goes right back into my business every penny I make goes right back into what I do So that being said, um, oh, I also found out Halloween is canceled this year. Yeah, 4th of July is not, but Halloween is. Go figure, am I right? They're only going to do fireworks. There's no parades. There's no um, picnics. There's no potlucks. There's no nada going on, okay? So we might as well consider this year entirely canceled. And to everyone wishing me a happy birthday, I thank you so much. That's very kind of you. Um, I don't generally celebrate my birthday because it just, there's been so much in my past that, you know, I don't really want to celebrate anything. It just makes it very difficult for me to feel comfortable with it. I know everyone says I should, but, you know, I'm really not going to do that. I'm just doing things very quietly, casually at home with my family. I think we're going to watch Rio Bravo tonight with John Wayne, Dean Martin, and, uh, oh, I forget. Oh, and Ricky Martin. Ricky Martin, that's him. So, um, unless that's another thing. I don't remember. Anyway. Uh, yeah, we're going to be possibly watching Real Bravo tonight. I love Real Bravo because they have some great music on there. And I really, really love it. Dean Martin, one of my absolute favorite actors and musicians. I grew up listening to Dean Martin. My grandparents had a large collection of his records. Unfortunately, you know, he did not... Um crossover right away so he's finally over on the other side great awesome I hope he and John are having just an absolute all out blast so anyway I'm just kind of hanging out today not doing much I'm really really tired tonight um Hmm. Interesting. Oh, I would love to be on that show, Rogue Talk Radio. That goes straight out here into Rogue Valley and Douglas County. So, hey, hey, it is what it is, you know. Who knows, maybe I'll hook up with them and do that one. But overall, right now, for the time being, until the trailer can get cleaned up for one, everything can get fixed, and, um... Uh... We can kind of get everything downsized, reorganized, you know, split off into keep, trash, sell, um... Yeah, keep, trash, sell, donate, give away, or, you know, uh, whatever. Anyway. Until we can get this done, I'm pretty much not going to be doing any more guesting on anything. 
I need the time essentially to be able to get this project with this trailer and moving out of storage. By the way, that's the other thing. We're going to be moving out of storage. Yes, we are. We're going to be out of storage. Hopefully, I'm crossing my fingers by July. I don't want or need that expense anymore. That's going to bring our expenses down. That's a good thing. We don't need to be spending on that anymore. That'll allow us to pay for our new life insurance. Yeah, we got it. Um... The insurance for the trailer and the insurance for a brand new pickup truck. Yeah. And I'm hoping to be able to trade in this trailer for a brand new 2020 model. Forest River, Salem Grand Villa, 42 DL. Oh my god, that thing is gorgeous. It's got the bedroom in the front got the kitchen to the center and the living room to the rear it's got a great setup it's got an upstairs double loft and one loft I'm going to use as storage yeah that's all going to be storage for all the rest of our stuff that we're not using the rest of the year you know like uh, decorations for Halloween Christmas New Year uh, Thanksgiving well anyway you get the picture and then we are going to use the other upstairs loft, the second one, for my office. That's going to be my office space. That's where I store all my office stuff, my filing cabinet with all my files, and, um, you know, where I keep information on my clients and... I'm going to keep my laptop, my cell phone, my um, radio stuff all up there. So that way it separates my business from my personal. I can do readings downstairs and work the rest of the time upstairs. And hopefully, with any luck, I will be able to work for Orinum again. Be able to do readings there when I'm not seeing clients. So that's all good. Once we can find a piece of property, set that puppy down there, put a front porch on her, you know, build a front porch on, screen it in, chimenea, um, a uh, table and chair set for the patio. Um, you know, I'd like to put Spanish tile on it and... Um, you know, on the floors and the uh, stairs and all that. And then, um, oh gosh, what else do I want to do? I want to be able to, um, oh, it sounds like my family's home. I got to run. So I will talk later. Bye-bye.